Today's earthquake prompting a lot of questions about the mechanics of a trembler. Yeah, we want to talk about the science behind an earthquake. Fox Eye's Sharon Curley joins us now in studio. Sharon, what did you find out? Yeah, well, Natasha and Steve, we're not used to earthquakes here on the East Coast, right? That's a West Coast California type experience, but this morning people felt shaking from skyscrapers here in New York City to the suburbs. Scientists say, well, it's unusual. Earthquakes, of course, do happen here, and they can also have aftershocks for weeks. The earthquake occurred in an area that the U.S. Geological Survey knows has some earthquake hazard. Uh, earthquakes on the East Coast are not common, but they do happen. Uh, William Barnhart is a geophysicist at the U.S. Geological Survey. His agency estimates about 42 million people felt the 4.8 magnitude earthquake centered near White House Station in central New Jersey. Well, this crack wasn't here. A New Jersey resident took video of cracks in the road that he says were not there before the quake. People in New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, even as far north as Vermont reported feeling trembling. The earthquake was a relatively shallow earthquake. By best initial estimates, it's not an earthquake that uh, the U.S. Geological Survey expects would have caused any damage. However, likely millions of people felt this earthquake. Scientists say this is a rare event in this part of the country. Earthquakes are less common here because the East Coast does not lie on a boundary of tectonic plates. One of the reasons so many people on the East Coast felt this quake is because East Coast rocks are better than their Western counterparts at spreading earthquake energy across long distances. People should expect to feel aftershocks, especially those located very close to the earthquake. Uh, there's a small chance that this could lead to a larger earthquake. However, that's generally not the case, but people should expect to feel aftershocks over the next couple of days and weeks. Well, as we've been telling you, these earthquakes large enough to be felt by a lot of people are relatively uncommon on the East Coast. Since 1950, there have been about 20 quakes with a magnitude of 4.5 or above, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. That's compared with more than 1,000 during the same time period on the West Coast. Natasha wow, and Steve. Wow, those stats. Thanks, Sharon.